Miss Hokusai. Let's talk about this visual gem. Hokusai, movie brought to us by Production IG, directed by Keiichi Hara, is a period movie. Um, it basically takes place in the era between the end of um, Japan's um, samurai, like the era of samurai. It highlights uh, an artist's life um, by the name of Katsushika Oe. And Oe is our main protagonist that we are introduced to right from the beginning of the, sh of the movie. As far as the visuals go for this movie, it was fantastic. Everything from the moment you're seeing like the, how the way they animate the water, the way they animate the backgrounds, there's so much life in here. The subtleties that you see throughout the movie are just beautiful. Um, something you'd come to expect from production IG. The the story is where it got me a little bit like, uh, it, there's little elements sprinkled in that make it almost like if you're like, alright cool, it starts off like it's gonna be fun and colorful. It has this rock and roll kind of like beginning. It sets up the tone to be fun, preppy. There's supernatural elements, there's storytelling, they're leading you through this story and then it sets up for absolutely nothing it feels. By the end of the movie you're just like, I kind of want there to be more? There's like no sense of nothing happens. Like even by the end your, your character Oi, she has no I mean, like, there, I felt no change from the character other than she just made a drawing. When they tell us in the story that a Hokusai is a known artist that specifically does some really good art, and they show us that a little bit in the beginning, but then after that, it's never done again. And you, what you think is going to be your main protagonist taking the mantle of being Hokusai um, doesn't really end up saying anything. At the end, you just get some, what's it called, text telling you what happens to the characters. And... In the, the great world of theater, you don't tell people, you show them. And that's what, one of the things that I, it left me a little disappointed about it. So overall, story's a little okay. Um, visuals, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful visual movie. Moving forwards, I would suggest this to someone that likes a little bit more of like the, the, the period of where this takes place, which is that samurai era. If you're a fan of production IG, for sure, I would suggest watching this movie. But I, for me, in my opinion, I don't think it's something that's worth even having on DVD. Maybe if it comes out on um, Funimation, if you have the, the membership, or it comes out on Crunchyroll, Netflix, I suggest checking it out. If it came out in your independent theater, let me know in the comments. Maybe you could be totally against what everything I'm saying. But it, it's overall, it's it's okay. It's an okay movie. So I'll see you guys later on Musical Kima here. And anything you feel deemed worthy to say to my face, go ahead. I'll see you next time, mate. <laughs>